Hi, welcome for the homework for Grade 1, this is Module 1, Lesson 29. Get your name on there first. You're not going to remember to do it later, so get it done now. And we're reading some math stories and making drawings, math drawings to solve. Got to have the math drawings for every one of them. Got to have a number bond, a number sentence, and we're going to finish the answer statements that are given to us. There's an example right here of a num of a picture in a number sentence. So our first one, Tom has a box of seven crayons. Five crayons are red. He has a box of seven. Five are red. How many are not red? So one, two. Four, five, six. So all you need is seven things. They don't have to look like crayons. They just have to be pictures of things you can count. And if you make tiny dots like that, then you're not going to know whether it was a, a mistake or something you didn't finish erasing or a piece of dirt. Uh, you're not going to be so sure. If you make really tiny dots, you're not going to be able to count them for sure. So make sure you have circles or X's or whatever you're going to use. Okay, seven crayons. Five of these are red. How many are not red? Well, these are the red guys here. I'm going to make them red just because I can. Three, four, five. Five are red. How many are not red? So the whole thing, there are seven of, of them. Total of seven. Five are red. And then these two guys here are not red. So it's, these are the parts. We always start with the largest number in subtraction because subtraction is going to make, when we take away from it, it's going to get smaller. So we always end up starting with the big, biggest number. 7 minus the 5 we knew about from the beginning. And then there were 2 left the end. Two crayons are not red. Number two, Mary picks eight flowers. Two are daisies. The rest are tulips. How many tulips does she pick? These daisies and tulips are different kinds of flowers. Uh, we know that two are daisies. We don't know how many are tulips, but we know if we draw all eight, one, and you can draw If you want to draw flowers, my, all my flowers are going to look the same because I'm not really a, an artist. I'm just drawing math pictures of things I can count. And I need eight of them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, so. We're going to say that these two here are the daisies. So we have a total of eight flowers. We know that two are daisies. The rest we don't know. These we don't know how many. We're going to have to count those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six are not. So we started with eight. Two of them we knew, and the six we didn't. That was the unknown. Mary picks how many are tulips? These are daisies. We can label these. D for daisies. T for tulips. We can label that in our number bond. Just so we make sure we know which kind of flower goes that we're answering. We're looking for tulips here in the question. Six tulips. Number three, there are nine pieces of fruit in the bowl. Four are apples, the rest are oranges. How many pieces of fruit are oranges? So we know that four are apples. And we know there's nine pieces of fruit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four are apples. Since I can make them red apples, I'll make them red apples. 
one, two, three, four are apples. Now I'm sure you know apples can be green, they can be red, they can be yellow. Well, I made mine red. Oranges. I don't have an orange marker ready here. So I'm just going to say the rest are oranges. So these are the apples. A for apples, and these are oranges. So we start with how many pieces of fruit we have, the total, it's the largest number, and that's going to be the number we have before we subtract. This is the subtraction symbol, the minus symbol, that means subtraction. So we have, when we subtract, the numbers are going to get smaller because we're going to take some away. We're going to take this number apart. We know four of them are apples, and one, two, three, four, five are oranges. We know about the four. If we take four away from the nine we'll have five left five are oranges we labeled it here in our picture we could label it here in our number bond also number four mom and ben make ten cookies six are stars and the rest are round if you know your parts of ten you might know what this is going to be already uh, we have 10 cookies, right? Six are stars. I'm just gonna, you don't have to make stars for your cookies. You really don't. Two, three, four, five, six. And the rest are around seven, eight, nine, ten. I kind of ran out of room there. You can make them down here. Inside the box, if you want to do one, two, three, four, I'll do that since there's just more room. I'll erase these there. So, six stars. Here are the rest. How many cookies are round? We have round cookies, right? And we have star cookies. We know we have ten cookies. One, two, there are six our stars. They told us that, and we had to count the rest the round cookies 10 is what we have and we take we took 10 apart into 6 and 4 there are how many round cookies are there 4 the parking lot has 7 spaces two cars are parked in the lot how many more cars can park in the lot so we have seven spaces. I'm going to make boxes for make seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Parking spaces aren't always rectangles, but these are. So here's seven spaces in the lot. Two cars are parked in the lot. So I'll fill those in. So we have a total of seven spaces, right? And these are the two parts. Cars that are spots that are parked and spots that are empty. Empty. How many spaces are empty? One, two, three, four, five, five spaces are empty. And we knew about those two. So we said there's seven spaces and we took that apart into two two different kinds of parking spaces right two of them were full and five were empty so five more cars can park in the lot and number six liz has two fingers with band-aids how many fingers are not hurt so think about it you've got it doesn't this is kind of you're going to have to think about this one just a little bit. It doesn't say how many fingers Liz has, but we, so we can just guess that she has 10 like most of us. A thumb, one, two, three. And there's your other hand. One, two, three, four. And there's your thumb, five. She's got band-aids on two of them. This one here is a band-aid. That one there has a band-aid. Uh, so we have 10 fingers, right? And we're taking 10 apart into 
fingers with band-aids there are two of those and fingers without band-aids there are one two three four five six seven eight fingers without band-aids so the two parts of ten are the two we knew about and the unknown we had to we had to count eight and then we have to write our own statement for an answer down here there's a picture of pencil to write it on this line so we're going to say Liz has eight fingers the words you need to write for your own answer statements they're in they're usually almost always in the sentence so there's the word fingers right there there's the word fingers again if you need to know how to spell it those words are almost always in the sentence in the question so Liz has eight fingers not might not hurt <laughs>